All right, guys, welcome back. Ignore the uh, the poopy quality. I'm using my webcam because we're about to be looking at some photos I have on my computer. Um, I know my webcam kind of sucks because it was old. Um, but today we're going to be looking at some film I took in this guy. It's an old uh, Agfa Solanet 2. It's a little belt, little mini bellows pop out camera. Um, it is kind of broken. Um, the shutter speeds, sometimes it works. I know the higher speeds work. Um, and then when you tend to get down into the lower speeds, sometimes it'll stick. And it probably won't do it now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Feel it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this thing does get stuck every now and then. And then as well as getting stuck, well, speaking of stuck, the focusing ring on the back of these, I actually did take this part, I tried to fix it. Uh, I had another one that I tried to fix as well, and it did not work. I ended up breaking this thing. If you guys saw the video I got of me unboxing these two, there was another camera that came with this that the, uh, the blades in the front were actually getting stuck. I tried to take it apart. I did not have the right tool. I ended up breaking something. Um, but this one I actually kept in good condition. I did take it apart. I, I tried to fix it. It's it's broken. I mean, if the outside's in pretty good shape, the insides are in, in all right shape. Um, and it does take photos, but I think there is also a little bit of a light bleed somewhere. I can't tell exactly. Um but overall a lot of the photos were usable so i'm I'm actually kind of happy with this um well yeah this is the little guy like this and you know just pops out like that uh it's a little bit you know it pops out kind of kind of quick but you know i like the look of it it looks pretty dope all right just making sure my ac just kicked on hopefully it didn't get picked up on uh the video but all right to the video um yeah, I'm going to switch over here real quick. I'm just going to whoop. Oh, yeah, there we go. Into the top corner we go. Um, and, oh. Wait. Yeah. We'll just start from here. All right. Um, okay, so. Put these in black and white. I think this is on Ilford HP. HP5. I think that's how you say it, something five. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly, I had a good time with this uh, this camera. Um, I actually used bulb mode a lot. So some of these photos are actually taken. Um, I didn't use a light meter for any of these. I kind of just guessed on what I think it would be because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get better at, you know, that Sunny 16 thing, just trying to look at the photo, like, look at the light, see what you need. So some of these are definitely a little way overexposed. Some of them might be a little underexposed. And then a lot of them do actually have a light bleed. But I did get some very good photos out of this. And I mean, they got like a real cool vintage look to them. But so far, let's, let's get through this. All right. One photo, girlfriend, little peace sign, cute. Doggy with a super um, pretty big... Uh, light bleed there. I uh, just call them ghosts. Some of these photos have ghosts in them. Again, like this, I actually shot outside. This is under a street lamp. I set this guy up on a little, like a little tripod. And then I have that little, it's like the wire with the, the button coming off of it. And it screws in here into the, the shutter release button. Um, so I did that a lot with a lot of these photos. Just do kind of like, not long exposures, but do dark like outside exposures because if you do like one two second exposures and you're holding it it's gonna get you all fucked up um it's like this it's outside at night um that ghost that ghost is back right there you know taking up a, a large portion of the uh, the picture oh go forward um not sure what this is definitely that ghost coming through again I just keep keep 
dog photo. She's looking out the window. Uh, came out all right. This one, this one's pretty good. I like the, you know, the composition. Um, you know, again, a lot of these are just shot outside on my patio. Um, just like a nice little area. Usually my pets are sitting out there, so I'll just kind of snap some photos of them. And I'll just test cameras out out there just to like uh, test like their built-in light meters. So like I'll look outside in the bright light and then I'll look inside where it's darker and like, you know, just test it based off of like my phone has a light meter. Um, but I, I really didn't use a light meter for these. So like this is kind of underexposed. Then we got that, that ghost dude. I'm telling you. Um, this one I really like like all the lines and stuff and there's there's a couple where she's laying like this I think this one's really good with all the lines and stuff this one's okay it's got the fucking ghost in it this one's really good I like this guy uh, the only thing that sucks is my <laughs> my belt sander here in the in the bottom uh, we'll get that out and again the ghost uh, me, and, me and my girlfriend, my cat, this photo just looks super old. Uh, you know, you got like the, the light bleed, you know, all old photos are always kind of, you know, washed out. Got the cat. The only thing is that we're smiling. I think that's the only thing that throws this photo off. In old photos, you're not allowed to smile. Um, there we are, awkward laughs. I think the timer went off a little earlier than we thought it would. Uh, that's what we were trying to do. This one came out perfect at least to me i think it did um the exposure and everything like that looks looks pretty spot on i like this guy um but she is my little girly pup from the back um out taking care of her plants just looking good looking good um kind of a a blurry indoor photo that one's okay i can't some of these photos i think would have been really cool um, I don't know, like, where that light bleed was coming from, because, like, it, it's on this photo, but then the same exact photo, where I just, because I was just doing different, like, uh, lengths of the, uh, shutter time, like, shutter speed, um, on these, and, like, messing with the aperture a little bit, but, like, this one's super overexposed, because I sat there, because it's in the middle of the night, trying to think of cool fucking demon dog um but yeah see these are like shot outside at night and i just hold the hold the shutter button uh you end up with stuff like this fucking demon dog Ooh, just gonna take your soul dude um this one look my little kitty cat came out really nice um but again this the only light in this photo um was this this guy right here, my little microwave light. I was trying to do some cool, cool video stuff with this, but or not video, cool picture stuff. I think that that looks pretty good. My dirty stove, same thing. And I think these last few photos are just me kind of dicking around, trying to get some some better photos. And not better, but just trying to use up the last couple frames because I think the next day I had to go to the photo store. So I was like, let me just drop this off. I think I have like five photos left. But yeah, honestly, some of these were pretty good. Um, I really liked them. Like this one of us kissing, these outside ones. Uh, this one I really like. And then these ones of her out on the balcony. I think are really cool photos. Like that's a really nice photo. All right. Thank you guys for following along. Uh, I appreciate it. Look at some photos with me with my little Pokemon Go. It's like a little Pokeball, dude. Put your camera in there and let it out. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys. Until next time. Until next time.